Hello everyone, Naturalist John from Salt Pork here. Uh, we've had some rain and it's kind of a warm day and warm rainy days like today bring out a really amazing Ohio creature. Uh, today we have found an eastern box turtle crossing the road. Uh, now I have moved off the road kind of over a bank here. Uh, you can hear the traffic behind me. Um, and I'm gonna let this guy go when we're done. And I say this guy because this is a mailbox turtle. You can tell because of this dent here in the plaster on. Can everyone see that? A little dent right there. If this were a female box turtle, it would have a nice flat smooth shell right there. Now box turtles um, are a land turtle. You rarely find them around water. Um, they prefer Ohio's woodlands and they can live an incredibly long time and they have a pretty small home range, uh, the small area where they live. So uh, it's important to keep that in mind. While they're beautiful and cute, we can see its face, you can see how, just how cute it is. Uh, they're not pets. Uh, if you take this animal out of the wild and put it in your backyard, you've basically doomed this animal. Uh, not to mention it's illegal. So we want to keep these animals wild. Now, uh, I said box turtles could live an incredibly long time. A lot of stories of the same box turtle being found on a uh, on a farm for, you know, two or three generations. Uh, every spring and every fall, uh, kids and grandkids would find uh, the same box turtle that their grandpa would find. So they can live a really long time. Now, box turtles are called box turtles because they can close up on their shell. They've got a hinge right here that they can box up in their shell. If a predator were to come along, uh, this animal could close close itself up and be pretty protected. So that's why they're, they're called box turtles. You have to remember, though, uh, box turtles uh, are their shell. It's a living part of them. Their spine, their ribs, their pelvis, everything is part of the shell. Uh, so it's important that you don't damage the shell in any way. Uh, so, like I said, if you find a box turtle and it's safe to do, make sure to uh, pull over uh, move it whatever direction it was heading, just move it off to the side of the road so uh, maybe it won't get hit and maybe uh, maybe have a chance for future generations to find find this turtle. So we're going to let this guy go. I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Thanks a lot.